Currently, private corporations, not contracted to any known nation, are operating assassination squads in Syria, organizing revolutions throughout the Middle East and are training and funding terrorist groups. The largest and most secretive, the most dangerous isn't Blackwater or L3 communication, not in Corp. It is Google. You know, the search engine and the folks that run YouTube, with all those videos with puppies and kittens? Google goes bad in 2010, former White House security advisor, assistant to Condoleezza Rice, Jared Cohen, joined the secret organization at Google. Prior to joining the secret war against Iran, Cohen spent four months in that country, a nation he now leads destabilization efforts again from secret facilities in Azerbaijan, a story that reached international audiences when WikiLeaks published Strat4 emails exposing Cohen's black ops against Iran. WikiLeaks had no intention of opposing the attacks on Iran but was rather tasked with taking down Strat4, a private intelligence group that represented a threat to the secret corporate war WikiLeaks never managed to see, even on documents it leaked but apparently never read or understood. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. The Wiki Weasel we all know how WikiLeaks feels things, their blind loyalty to Israel, their slavish alignment with the corporate media and their hatred of distractions, minor issues like 9-11 or how the West and Israel is backing Al-Qaeda in Syria. In December 2010, Zbigniew Brzezinski cited WikiLeaks as part of an intelligence agency and the output of WikiLeaks as seeded. WikiLeaks is a PSYOP, or as Webster Tarpley would phrase it, a limited hangout leading Google's globalist Dirty Tricks division from Wikipedia, an organization perhaps even more controlled, more flawed than WikiLeaks itself, part of their bio on Cohen, an Israeli citizen, former top U.S. counterintelligence expert and now, supposedly, employed by innocent Google. Jared Cohen, born November 24, 1981, is the director of Google Ideas and an adjunct senior fellow at the Council on Foreign Relations. Previously, he served as a member of the Secretary of State's policy planning staff and as an advisor to Condoleezza Rice and later Hillary Clinton. Initially brought in by Condoleezza Rice as a member of the policy planning staff, he was one of the few staffers that stayed under Hillary Clinton. In this capacity, he focused on counterterrorism, counter-radicalization, Middle East-South Asia, internet freedom, and fostering opposition in repressive countries. According to the New York Times Magazine, Cohen was one of the principal architects of what became known as 21st century statecraft. In 2013, Cohen was named by Time Magazine as one of its 100 most influential people. We will cover how Stratfor exposed Cohen's operations, which now spread across the Middle East and into Africa, but more background on Google, the secret threat more powerful, better funded and more dangerous than the NSA could ever be. At one point, even Julian Assange cited Cohen and his work as banal, and accusing Cohen of failing to understand the titanic centralizing evil they are constructing. Yet, no one has ever heard of Jared Cohen, not of his months in Iran or his operations and his Google safe houses, not just in Azerbaijan, managing black ops in Iran but his black sites in Turkey, and their relation to chemical weapons used by jihadists working against the Syrian government, Working for Google. Is Google the real homeland security? Last week, news organizations in the U.S. reported an interesting story. An American family, totally unconnected to the Middle East or extremist politics, had been using Google to search the Internet. The wife was looking for a pressure cooker for canning vegetables. The husband was planning an outdoor vacation and was looking for a backpack. Six homeland security commandos showed up at their door not sent there by the NSA but by Google. Who is Google? In the wake of the excesses of the NSA, the Snowden scandals, one threat remains unexposed, one that operates on a scale even larger than the NSA, with more access and, as we have learned, not just the largest information vacuum cleaner in the world, but a private military and intelligence agency answerable to no known government. When you search the Internet, you profile yourself, not just for targeted advertisements, but, as we see above, for surveillance, for the lists, perhaps enemies of the state, based on your purchases, your interests or your reading habits. Google tracks it, Google analyzes it and Google sends the goons to your door. Who needs a government police state? Who needs the NSA? Who is Google? 
on July 25, 2013, YouTube, a division of Google, at the request of the Anti-Defamation League, a key component of IPAC, Israel's bribery, blackmail and espionage operation against the United States, shut down Press TV's video access to the Internet. Does the ADL and IPAC control Google or is it the other way around? What if Google decides on a regime change in Tel Aviv? Who is Google? Busted, Google Black Ops in Iran in 2012, WikiLeaks published emails from the private intelligence group, Strat4, outlining Google's role as a contractor for the CIA. A February 2011 email from Strat4 Scott Stewart published by Julian Assange reads as follows, Google is getting White House and State Department support and AMB. Air cover. In reality, they are doing things the CIA cannot do. But, I agree with you. He's, Jared Cohen, going to get himself kidnapped or killed. Might be the best thing to happen to expose Google's covert role in foaming up risings, to be blunt. The US Gov can then disavow knowledge and Google is left holding the, expletive deleted, bag. Cohen might end up having an accident if he is not careful. This is not child's play, months ago, CIA sources confirmed Google's role as a contractor, gathering intelligence against Iran. However, current sources indicate that the CIA isn't their only client and that intelligence gathering isn't all they do. Google is also totally operational, inside Iran, inside Syria, inside Iraq, inside Egypt, inside Afghanistan, inside Pakistan, inside Libya, not tracking internet shopping, but boots on the ground. Does this mean weapons, car bombs, sarin gas? This is exactly what we are being told. Google Idea Group's the email below is now being stolen for the fourth time. The email itself is from Jared Cohen of Google Idea Groups. WikiLeaks hacked the email from Strat4. How Strat4 got it, we can't guess. The email itself is a Google internal document, one we source through WikiLeaks. What does it outline? Does it plan killings of Iranian scientists or terror bombings? We can't be sure. But if Google uses the same veiled language as other organized crime operations, well, read it and make your own decision. Send. Sunday, February 27, 2011, 928 AM to Secure List Subject, Google and AMB. Iran internal use only. PLS do not forward PLS do not forward. Sole source extracted from an internal email to a senior Google executive. The MSG is from Jared Cohen the former policy appointee at state, and discusses Cohen's plans on mating with Iranians, note, anti-government insurgents. I wanted to follow up and get a sense of your latest thinking on the proposed March trip to UAE, Azerbaijan, and Turkey. The purpose of this trip is to exclusively engage the Iranian community to better understand the challenges faced by Iranians as part of one of our Google Ideas groups on repressive societies. Here is what we are thinking. Drive to Azerbaijan Iranian border and engage the Iranian communities closer to the border. This is important because we need the Azeri Iranian perspective. Google, beyond borders, beyond the law. Analysts tell us that Google is the operational intelligence and strategic planning agency for the new world order. How can a small operation, barely $50 billion in revenue a year, broad access to the personal data of almost everyone on earth, directly align the world power centers? How could they do all of this? Better yet, how could they do it unseen, even by their own stockholders? Sometimes we forget. Millions of drivers carry phones that report vehicle locations, even speed, voluntarily, to help Google run their navigation service. Google Earth had photographs of almost every building on Earth, every intersection, every school and even sells military-grade satellite service, in real time, to clients who have more than a minor curiosity about those around them. Google reads much of the world's email. Google, not only monitors internet searches, they provide the results, steering people to products and ideas they favor and censoring the rest. For a small fee, Google will smear anyone on earth, guiding internet searches to fee-paid sites on obscure and secretive servers to spread wild conspiracies, bizarre accusations and defamation. Google runs YouTube a site of vast power that has done more to mislead and censor than any other website on the Internet, with the exception of Google's other sites, in particular, Google News. 
Now, even the CIA is distancing themselves from Google's global operations, now believed closely aligned with a group known to many as Al-Qaeda. Is anyone really surprised? This article by Gordon Duff for Press TV. Gordon Duff is a Marine Vietnam veteran, a combat infantryman, and senior editor at Veterans Today. His career has included extensive experience in international banking along with such diverse areas as consulting on counterinsurgency, defense technologies or acting as diplomatic representative for UN humanitarian and economic development efforts. Gordon Duff has traveled to over 80 nations. His articles are published around the world and translated into a number of languages. He is regularly on TV and radio, a popular and sometimes controversial guest. Please help to circulate this information far and wide and awaken our brothers and sisters. I am Susan Kapinski for the BBC Six News Channel. Thank you for watching.